Hey everyone, I have been tagged in the paint brush shave challenge. So, for those that have not seen this challenge, the rules are one, have fun. Two, you cannot have done this or practiced with anything as far as the paintbrush is concerned beforehand. So, luckily I was tagged. I was just happened to be going out to uh, a hardware store when I saw the video. So I went out and picked up a little paintbrush. I have no idea if this is a synthetic bristle, natural hair bristle, whatever, but there's the brush. A little stubby, rubbery handle. It's been soaking in my mug here. So we're just gonna let that dump that out. Uh, to make things easier, for as far as building leather goes, because again, I have no idea how this is going to go, I went with the Barbas cream. So with the Barbas cream, and because Barbas is blue, we're gonna go with the blue eco. And that, I guess it kind of matches almost the blackish, purple, whatever color this is, of the handle. So I already went and squeezed a little dollop size there into my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl, and we're just gonna go for it. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's actually whipping up fairly decently. This brush does not splay. I didn't expect it to. After seeing some videos of people doing this, I probably should have tried to find a round paintbrush. Although why on earth there are round paintbrushes? I have no clue. I didn't even know they existed until I saw videos for this tag. And because this is not a shave brush, it is hard to tell when the lather is properly hydrated. And this is hard to do right up here because my children don't really do that. We're gonna add a touch more water here. Oh, it didn't really bring out the brush because it's hard to do. Okay. And I think you're, you can do like two passes, so I don't know what to see. I did use a Chevette last night. You can see the growth just over, just about 24 hours. I'll have a little bit more water here. I will say this is whipping up a lather nice and quickly. Although I will admit that I went with Barbus because it is easy to create that lather. And Barbus is dang good. I like me some Barbus. And because I didn't know if I was gonna be doing this tonight or another night, I didn't grab the aftershave. I will put on the Barbus aftershave as well because Barbus. All right, we're going with that. Looks peaky. So, we're going to wet the face. And because I've used the Eco for a little bit, let's see how it goes. Painting on nicely, pun intended. Definitely very stiff. It doesn't hold on the lather very easily. The addition of that little rubber handle, it's actually kind of nice. Wasn't sure how comfortable it would be being that small and that short in the hands, but there we go. And I had a blade loaded in here. I think this is either Perma Sharp, or I don't know, Gillette Platinum, something I don't know. This is my favorite razor, but it matched the theme. Lots of feedback, lots of hair coming off. Not surprising though, the rate the blade I used last night, 
was one chip too many in it. So I'm not surprised that the silver came back as quickly as it did. Yeah, not bad. I know Barbas can be a little more voluminous than this. And it's not feeling as slick as it normally is. But again, I'm using a blessed paintbrush to create my lather. So, I'm expecting a phenomenal shave tonight. No. I'm expecting a decent shave. Eco's an okay razor. Again, not my favorite. It just, it works, but it's not always that comfortable. Work that around a bit more, get some more view of lather in the brush. It's weird. There you go. Bristles are exceptionally stiff. I think I said, again, I don't know if this is a synthetic or a boar bristle paintbrush. I'm guessing by the looks it's probably synthetic. Now, before people get bored and turn off the, and click away from the video, if you already haven't already, I'm gonna be tagging Tim Shaves and the Rusty Razor and Up Foe Shave Dave. Y'all been tagged. And because of the token tag, David Gonzalez, So Sharp Dave. Sorry, So Sharp David. Because he never does tags. I'm tagging him too. I have no idea what use is on this blade either. Might be time for it to go. Like I said, I don't use this razor very often. Not because it's a bad razor. It's just not, not one of my favorites. Which is funny because I love the Hawk. The Hawk V2 is a really smooth. And the design on this is almost identical as far as head shaping is that's concerned. So we're just gonna gather up what's left, decent amount there, and we'll go. For a third pass. And as you can see, I really need a head shave. Oh, my head got a little bit sunburnt this week, weekend. Ooh, bloopinetta. Because even though I wore a hat when I was out and about, I was out Saturday running around. But I mostly I had a ball cap on most of that time and then I was out Sunday I was invited to go on an OHV ride with my dad uh, and I 
kind of go into an area that's not really central. Utah is like an hour and a half away from where we live because uh, this year is the 50th anniversary of the Utah OHV program. OHV stands for Off Highway Vehicles, so ATVs, side-by-sides, dirt bikes, that kind of thing. And Utah has a lot of trails for OHV machines. And my dad is very well connected in the OHV community. And one of the directors of the Bureau of Land Management, one of the offices, uh, said, hey, you know, for this 50th anniversary, we really want to spread the word, kind of show the benefits of OHVs. So they got a film crew uh, to go along. They're like, hey, we want to we want to film a ride and interview people and everything. And because this individual at the BLM, Bureau of Land Management, knows my dad very well, said, hey, you should, you should contact this guy and go out. So the film crew went out, organized with my dad to go. And my dad's like, hey, do you want to go on this ride? I know it's on a Sunday. We know we don't do this on Sunday. But we have a film crew. This is what they're doing and why they're doing it. So we go out on Sunday, we'll do a ride, but we'll do interviews, it might be kind of boring as far as doing lots of stopping interviews and, and that kind of thing. But if you want to go, I need someone to, uh, to drive this machine. If we can put one of the cameramen in this machine, I'll drive the other one and see who else we can get to go. We might be toast. So I went out and rode. I saw some awesome places in parts of Utah that I didn't know were there. And I've lived here most of my life. Places I won't be able to get to due to physical limitations in my back and hip and all that. So I wouldn't be able to get there if I had to hike. So it was really cool to see all these things. Get to know a little more of the history of my own state. even if there was a camera crew there as well. So, you know, the camera crew stopped. They, we stopped for one area and they knew my dad for an extensive period of time. And they went to another area and they're like, I'm going to do a couple more interviews. And because I was there, they had a, they interviewed me. I took me to my two oldest boys and they were interviewed. And every time I got out of the machine, you know, I took my helmet off. Put that in the machine and then I was like, all right, let me get a ball cap so I don't burn my head. Not realizing the ball cap only goes about here, but everything from the line of my ball cap down was burnt. So I haven't shaved my head for a few days. I don't know when this show's gonna air. It's a local TV program, so unless you're in Utah probably won't be able to see it unless you hop on their website and you can probably watch it that way. And when that happens, I'll want to know more information. And if that can be viewed online. I'll post the information somewhere so it can be viewed by those who are interested. They were with us all day long. And we were told the segment that they're actually going to be doing that's going to be air is only like six minutes. So I think we left the house. We were gone for almost 13 hours. By the time we left the house, got down there. Did what you needed to do. Rode around, did the interviews, they had drone footage and everything else. It was really cool. 
but it was a long day. I can see we're going for about 13 hours. So we should see if I can do a little bit of touch up. Don't want to irritate the skin too much, but also want to get a decent shave. Do I have the feedback on this razor? And now that I've gotten a few passes in with this, it's a lot more comfortable after that first pass. So I think my problem was probably like one, I have used it in so long that I forgot how to use it. Go figure, right? It's like when I first shave off my goatee, it's like, oh, I sheared up with the Chevette. But then in subsequent shaves with the, the Chevettes and the, like the SS Commissori and, and that kind of stuff, it's like, I need to remember to do this to get so I can get a good shave again. I really haven't done one on camera since I've shaved off the goatee. Well, it'll come, just not right now. I want this to be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter of a video because I did create that ladder. So I'm going to try that good. Finish up with a little bit of cold water. And listen, there, I'll step off camera for a sec and grab, oh, grab some barbas. Right there. No matter how many times I attack it, there's always hair there. Even if I go at the right angle the first time against the green, there's still hair. Alright, so this is my chisel. Energy the witch hazel? I can't remember. If so, I'm double dipping is not bad. There. Alright, luckily, the barbus is in the closet. And this right this wall, so I'm just gonna step out for a quick second, grab the barbus. Barbus. And boom, Barbus. Barbus, boom. Looks like still a five o'clock shadow. Oh man, this smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh man, I love the smell of this splash. I don't use it a whole lot simply because there's things that. I have that it doesn't really go well with. I've been using a lot more lately. But when I get a chance to use it, I do because I love the scent of the barbas. So, gentlemen, let me mention that again. Uh, let me go back to my notes. Tim from Tim Shaves. Uh, the Rusty Razor and Up Foe. You've been tagged in the Paintbrush Challenge. Y'all have a good one.